the second annual Prawn Fest. So thank you very much to Slyamon and to Craig for, uh, for this contribution. viable commercial fishery here and uh, it's it, it's sustainable you know um, people come and they can talk to us uh, they I think they they see that they're getting something that's truly organic it's uh, it's wild and again it's it's a fishery that has been well managed for quite a few years now and and, uh, and we can keep feeding people a, a beautiful beautiful prawn for years to come prawn industry is uh, very important to our community. We have a lot of our local um, members that uh, make a living from the sea fishing prawns uh, during that particular season. It, uh, we get to enjoy the fruits here and uh, have some uh, great food and some camaraderie and uh, celebrate the prawn, celebrate the community, celebrate this great waterfront um, and celebrate one another. competition going on with some prawns and a secret ingredient. We don't know what it's going to be. It could be anything. Nice. But we're going to whip something together and see who can uh, can make magic out of these secret ingredients. You know? It's going to be fun. It's not a black box, but this is the secret ingredient. Okay, are you all looking? What is it? What is it? Ah, it's killing me! It was harvested right around the corner. Rumor! Rumor! Bottle and saute, and in goes the Havana Club. So marinating in the tamarind. That's the okay, apart from Curtis, everyone has 10 minutes left. New Orleans barbecue prawns. New Orleans barbecue sauce with uh, a little rhubarb and pineapple uh, relish. Okay, and here we have tamarind shrimp stir fry. So I made a uh, strawberry sauce oh, and I used that as the base under the shrimp and the stir fry. Enjoy. Fine. Okay, so here we have a uh, rhubarb and fresh little fresh peach compost to, uh, to scoop on top of these uh, prawns, which are savory and sweet. Oh, oh, Beautiful oh, extra flavors. Out. And then uh, to finish this whole plate, we got pan seared foie gras which goes fantastic with nice fruity things, so I hope you enjoy it. So Chef, I've got a question for you. That's excellent. This, by the way, for those of you that don't know, is the best prawn in the world. And I'm not kidding, right there is where they live. And the reason being is because it's a cold water prawn. Curtis. So apart from presentation, we're looking for 
flavours, levels, aroma, and we're looking at what other things on the plate that complement the prawn. And these are some of the best prawns I've had, definitely. We've got some great chefs in our community. And I'm happy to be able to be a judge and actually get to taste these. The judges are deep in thought, deep in converse, and I think they're within the last couple of minutes of finalizing their uh, their tallies and coming up with a winner and runner up. I'm pretty sure it's quite a hard decision making process. I mean, I tried a couple of dishes myself, and me being a self taught chef of my own sort, I must say they were phenomenal. Curtis is the winner of our prawn, spot prawn competition this evening.